white pillar at the phone stay calm. And behind me, you can see an activation, which is actually meant to highlight the hidden histories of colonial slave labors and their resistance to archives. Okay, great. Well, it's interesting to see this and so you know, I think I know the story, but it's just confronting again, it's always confronting mm -hmm. to see these pictures and hear these stories. Uh, yeah, I think it's good and I hope that many people will, will join us and see this. Uh, yeah, hopefully, story. hopefully. Yeah. Well, I think it was pretty confronting to see all these truths about our Dutch history and where it comes from, where all our economic prosperity comes from. To see the list of slaves and the numbers who are actually representing real people with all their backgrounds, it's pretty confronting. So I'm really curious to see what's still left in our heritage. Uh, we were just commenting on one of the um, posters over there and you should also see it in the context of the history of Netherlands in that time mm -hmm. uh, because it was told that one of the daughters was brought to an orphanage school mm -hmm. but my mother uh, in, in the beginning of the 20th century uh, was also brought to a, uh, an orphanage school okay. and she was an ordinary Dutch woman Mm -hmm. So, you have to compare it in the context of the time uh, this was placed in. Okay. Um, I have been married to one of the Bronson family. Okay. So, there's a lot of history related to this family, who were a rich family of this region. But, of course, they also have a history with, with connected to slavery. They had plantations in, in Suriname, for instance. So, yeah, it's good that that's visible now here because maybe in a lot of cities in, in the Netherlands people do not realize that we are all have a connection with that past of which we're not so proud but yeah it's good to show that that's there that in the castle nearby that it was a Bronson uh, property that it's beautiful but it makes you think as well yeah.